Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to deal about the management in cord prolapse. So this is the obstetrical emergency where the life of the fetus can be jeopard. So before you watch this video, please go through it with its previous first part where I have discussed with its condition, the risk factors. So the link of that video is given in the description box below. And here I'm going to deal about the management, how we can manage once the cord get prolapsed. So as we know that it is an emergency situation. So first, once we came to know that the cord get prolapsed, then we must call for help. So the condition is not going to be dealt by a single person. We need uh, the team that can deal in a efficient manner so we must call for help and uh, we must check the fetal heart rate regularly because we already discussed with its impact what it can cause once the cord get compressed so fetal heart rate monitoring is equally important to check the fetal status so we must check the fetal heart rate regularly so once the cord prolapse is being confirmed we must terminate the pregnancy so whatever the mean we select to terminate the pregnancy the first important thing is we must relieve the pressure from the cord that is very important because the mean can takes time the vaginal mean or the cesarean delivery can takes time until that we must relieve the pressure because the fetus is continuously uh, depriving from the oxygen by being compressed by the cord or by uh, the vasospasm so to relieve that uh, we can relieve the pressure from the cord okay so what all things we can do we can use manual method or we can go with a uh, bladder filling technique or either we can give position so in any of the mean we can relieve the pressure from the cord this is the common uh, aim behind that so in the manual method, we can put our hand in the vagina and we can give pressure over the presenting part and allow the presenting part to go inside the uterine cavity. So thereby we are relieving the pressure from the cord. Okay. Uh, but when we are doing like this, we must keep our hand within the vagina itself. It is not like that, uh, that you are uh, uh, pressing the presenting part and now you can uh, remove your hand no this is not like that you must keep your hand until you will uh, go with the any mean to terminate the pregnancy till that you keep your hand within the vagina okay keep relieving the pressure uh, from the cord because once you remove your hand the cord will comes out and the presenting part again create pressure over the cord so to avoid that keep your hand or remain your hand in vagina itself okay and the other method by which you can relieve the pressure from the cord is bladder filling so uh, by the Foley's catheter we can fill the bladder with a normal saline uh, because this bladder filling also create a pressure over the presenting part and again the presenting part moves in the cavity and thereby it releases the pressure from the cord okay so the principle behind this all things is same okay so either you can go with the manual mean or you may be with the bladder filling and thirdly the other is the positioning where you can uh, give certain posi positions to the mother that relieve pressure from the cord in that one of the position is the knee chest position where you allow the woman to lie down uh, with the knee and chest so in that position the presenting part or the whole fetus moves in the cavity and thereby releases pressure from the cord okay so this is the knee chest position but it is quite tiring and uh, uncomfortable position for women to maintain uh, this position for prolonged time until you select any measure to terminate the pregnancy so till that uh, the woman won't be able to keep that position uh, and she won't be able to maintain that position for a prolonged time so either we can select the other position uh, 
to relieve the pressure from the cord is the sense position where we can allow the woman to lie down in left lateral side where she can lift her one leg the upper leg toward the chest uh, it, she can make it flexed and uh, the lower leg can be remain straight and below to that the below to buttock we can place pillow or wedge to elevate uh, the buttock so in that position the presenting part releases pressure from the cord and the fetus goes inside the cavity okay so this is the most preferable mean and the position and either we can give the Trendlenburg position where we can make the woman to lie down in supine position keeping the head down and legs to be elevated so in that position also the presenting part and the whole fetus lies within the uterus and thereby releases the pressure from the cord so these are certain means through which we can relieve the pressure from the cord so either we can go with the manual mean keeping our hand inside the vagina or either we can uh, do the bladder filling or may be we can give any of the position to the woman so one, once we decide how we terminate the pregnancy till that we must give the support supportary mechanism to the mother so till that period the cord will not be compressed if it will compress continuously then the fetal life can be in danger so to avoid that before we terminate the pregnancy this is very important that we must give this support we must relieve the pressure from the cord okay and suppose if you have choose bladder filling then in that condition you must uh, empty the bladder before you go with the vaginal or incisorin mean okay so these are the method to relieve pressure from the cord so once you relieve the pressure from the cord now you have to decide what uh, will be the mean to terminate the pregnancy either it would be the vaginal mean or it would be the cesarean mean ideally the most preferable mean is the cesarean section okay but suppose if the vaginal delivery uh, if you want then it is only be to be possible if the labor is imminent it is just nearby the cervix is more favorable the fetal head is completely descent down and it is quite visible and if it is occult prolapse only then we can easily apply the forceps and we can go with the vaginal delivery but uh, if the cervix is not favorable the indications uh, for the forceps applications are not to be met there are certain restrictions are there fetus is not descending down uh, that much and the cervix is not that much favorable uh, where we can apply the forcep in such condition we cannot augment the labor more and uh, we will not induce further we will only choose cesarean section for the termination of pregnancy this is the ideal and the best method so once we decide how to terminate the pregnancy once we make a plan uh, we must call upon all the team who is required for this termination that is the team of anesthesiologist and the neonatologist must be available and informed priorly but suppose through the pervaginal examination we found that the cord presentation is there where the cord is easily pulsatile through the intact membrane in that condition we never allow the membrane to be ruptured okay so the ideal procedure for the termination of pregnancy is cesarean section only okay we will not uh, do any amniotomy or we will not allow any procedure that uh, make the cord to be prolapse okay so in cord presentation cesarean section is the only mean to terminate the pregnancy so here in this lecture we have discussed with the management in the cord prolapse and the cord presentation cases thank you